What's up everybody, my name is Gabriel and I'm going to be showing you how to make your own canvas. So to start things off, we're going to need stretcher bars, a staple gun, some wood glue, and canvas. Now I'm going to be using 8x16 stretcher bars today, but you can use whatever size you like. Now the stretcher bars have little slots at the end that stick into each other, like so. But before we join them, we're going to add wood glue at the ends, that way they stick together. Now once you've applied your wood glue, we're going to go ahead and join them together. You really want to focus on getting the corners matched up. Don't really worry too much about any excess glue, you can just go and wipe that off with your finger. And now that they're together, go ahead and add more wood glue to the gaps. Now for the next piece, you really want to get the corners matched up because if there's any overlap, it will show on the canvas, so do the best you can. After that's done, uh, you can go ahead and staple the inseams if you like. It's totally optional, but it just helps with the support. And after you've done that, you're gonna roll out the canvas and size your canvas. I usually leave about an inch to maybe like half an inch extra over the stretcher bars just to give me some space to work. And after you measure it out, you're gonna go ahead and cut it out. And once you've cut your canvas piece out, we're gonna go ahead and start stapling. Now what I usually do is I pick one side to start on. I put one staple right down the middle and then turn it around and do a staple on the opposite side. Keep as much tension as you can, that way the canvas is nice and tight. And then after that's done, you're gonna go ahead and put two more staples on either side of the original staple. Flip it around and do the same thing to the other side and just repeat that pattern all the way to the ends. Once you're done stapling, we're gonna start on the ends. What you're gonna do is you're gonna fold the inner corners inside and then fold the flap down. You really wanna get it nice and tight, that way there's no overlap with the canvas and it's nice and flush against the, the stretcher bar. And then do the exact same process we did um, in the previous slide. And there you have it, you have your own canvas. Quick pro tip, if the canvas is too loose, what you can do is add a little bit of water to the back and it'll flatten out the canvas and make it nice and tight. Now to prime the canvas, you can use acrylic gesso. I usually use a one to one ratio of water to gesso for the first layer. And then after that, I just do straight gesso. And this is what it looks like after it's been gessoed. And here are a couple of example works of canvases I've made and actually painted on.